Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives, I save clothes, I save all the things. Thumbs up for that. I went to the bins and I got 110 pounds. 110 pounds, 175 pieces. Are you ready? I'm not, am I ready? Are my arms ready? Here we go. How many parts I'm gonna break this video into but I do know that it'll be more than one part because it's 110 pounds it's 175 pieces oh my gosh let's just take a moment of silence now for my arms and my back <sighs> all right so so I went to the bins the Goodwill outlet here in Indianapolis and I went with Jessica. I'll link her channel down below. Hey girl. And um, while I was there, I texted the bin pickers and then they showed up. So it was a great trip. So much stuff, you guys. Uh, literally 110 pounds. So much stuff. I'm so excited to show you. I'm not going to give comps because I haven't looked up anything. But just know that my cost of goods was 77 cents. Keep that in your mind as we go through. All right, so let's let's just jump right in. And I am wearing a bra and it's already driving me crazy. I'm so excited, I don't know where to start. All right, so we'll just go like this. Maybe I'll pull from here. I don't know. So the first thing that I got was this Billabong outerwear puffer vest. Perfect for winter or if you like to ski. Um, it's a size small. That's the label, you can't see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to even show the labels. Okay, I probably should just put that down. Next is this, this is Goose Down and it is Ralph Lauren um, Goose Down size large. Yeah, just an outdoor vest, but it's good. Okay, next is this huge jacket here. This is a size 2X. And it is Land's End 2X 20 to 22. And it is a goose filled down long gray jacket with a hood. Super nice. It doesn't look like it's ever even been worn. Next, I picked up this blazer based on style and based on the fact that I was at the bend. So I will pretty much grab anything. Um, this is... Har Harvey Bernard by Bernard Holtzman, made in Ukraine, 90 10, 90 10, 92% wool, um, and it's a size 12. So it's this beautiful plaid, and then it has like this suede collar, and it's in perfect condition. Long line, it's fabulous. So I'm excited about that. None of this stuff is going to fit back on the rack. I don't even know why I bothered hanging it all up. <sighs> okay. Next, I found this suit. There is, you can see right there, it's like... I don't know if it's deodorant or makeup or something, but I just need to clean it. I might even take it to the dry cleaner. But why, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. YSL. Yves Saint Laurent. Is that how you say it? Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint, Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. I don't know, but it's YSL. Um, and it is, what's the fabric here? 100% worsted wool. So yeah, <laughs> 77 cents. <laughs> it's stunning. It only has that one little, it's like someone gave the person a hug and got their makeup, their face on, on the, there. Otherwise it's perfect. Um, the only, and then the pants are the same, like they're perfect. It looks fabulous, but 
they've been taken up which can easily be undone so that's good the only problem is the suit does not have a size anywhere I've looked and looked and I cannot find a size and the other problem is I've never found YSL suit before so I don't even know where to sell it I need all my friends to tell me in the comments below where I should sell it and how do I figure out what size it is? It probably means I'm gonna have to sell on my own because it doesn't have a size. So I don't know, but I was so excited to find that. I almost died right then. Like I got a lump in my throat. And what happened was, is I hit a bin. I have to tell you the guys this story really quick. I hit a bin, it was right after they switched out. It was the very first bin I went to. And I just started pulling out brand after brand that I was like, okay, this is all raw donations and this lady and her children and her husband all dressed very well. So I basically put that whole bin in my cart and filled it up and I'm not kidding. So yeah. <laughs> and then some lady I'm sitting there, everything I grabbed was something, I'm the type of person at the bins who's like sitting there in front of a bin and I'm like looking at every tag or feeling. Like I look at everything, I don't like act like a lunatic. I take my time, I'm looking for, you know, really good stuff and you miss stuff if you go so fast. So I'm sitting here, everything I pick up, I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I'm putting it in my car, which is like, I have beside me. She like reaches over my car into my area that I'm looking and starts pulling the clothes her way. And I go, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. You can look when I'm done. Like that's so rude. Excuse me. Like I'm right here. I'm looking through this. Don't take stuff away from me. And she laughs and I go, it's really not funny. It's not funny because I knew everything in that bin was so good <laughs> and she was not gonna take it. So I stood my ground and she, she left. And I got all the things. Okay, so good. We're already at nine minutes. It's fabulous. All right, next is this Vince. Um, it's like a textured jacket. It's got leather trim on the pockets. And then when you unzip it, it's got leather trim there. Uh, it's a size 14. So it's a good size. It's in fabulous condition. Next is this vintage wool Pendleton blazer. Just black, all wool. It's too bright to focus. You can't see the label, but I don't know what size this is. I honest to God haven't done. I haven't even really looked at this stuff besides just hanging it up. So I don't know. Okay, next is this Tommy Hill figure. It's new with tags, size six. It's just a gray blazer, but it has the tags and I don't mind giving it a try. I mean at the bins. Are you kidding? Of course I will. Next is this gallery size 14. Uh, it's new with tag. It's this little bolero, but it has sheer fun, big sleeves. So that's cute. I've never heard of that brand, but has a European size on it, so maybe it's good. I don't know. Honestly, I don't. I really don't know. So, if you came to this haul video looking for me to tell you a whole bunch of information, this probably ain't the one because I haven't done any research, guys. I just want to show you everything I found. <clears throat> okay, this. <coughs> sorry. This is. Um, these are just Old Navy. They're the Lux tank tops. They're new with tags. You know, they only retail for 17, but there was two of them. They're both size large. So I thought, um, I'd put them together and sell them like that. Oh my gosh. I've already done that. <laughs> Next is this new with tag J crew originally $79. It's this gold rust it's like a rusty gold shimmery metallic and like metal metallic threads are an ingredient are an ingredient 
oh my gosh, an ingredient are a, um, are part of the fabric content. So yeah, it's cute. New tags, extra small. I'm sorry that you hear a stampede upstairs. That's my dogs. This is an Old Navy. It's new with tag, right? Yep. New with tag, Old Navy. It is a light pink duster cardigan. It's a size extra large tall. Literally those dogs. In the dust. I already see the dust fly. So yeah, light pink, new with tag. I'm here for it. Next is this Express Aztec Boho Open Cardigan. It's a size large, so good size, cute style, perfect for fall. Then I got this Pink Republic. This is an extra small. Yeah, this is sold at Kohl's. It's like this popcorn knitted sweater. It's in like a mauve taupey color. It's new with tag. Retailed for $40. Next, I got this Style & Co. new with tag sweatshirt, sweater, cardigan, <laughs> whatever. Um, it's a 2X and it's like a chenille feeling cardigan. Buttons. It's very thick and heavy, so yeah, good size. Next is this American Eagle cardigan, and it is the prep fit, size medium, so adorable. It has like a vintage-y look to it, like the, like the, it's like faded almost on purpose. You can't really see it with the lights, but... I love it so much, and American Eagle cardigans always sell for me. So, grab that. Next uh, is this Splendid. This is like one of my favorite things, not because it's like the most expensive, but Splendid is very expensive. <laughs> um, it doesn't retail or resell for the greatest amount of money but this style I just don't know if I'm gonna sell it though because it's a size large and I am you guys know I'm Carol Baskin with my hillbilly accent and my love for leopard print so I love it so much I don't know if I'm gonna sell it <laughs> depends on what comps look like okay next is this loft Great bread and butter brand. It's like brand new. I don't know if it's cashmere or some type of fabulous material. I don't have time to check. We got a lot to do here. But it's a size medium, cute button detail, striped, super lightweight, perfect for fall, like transitioning into fall. So cute. And like all this stuff is in such good condition. I was just like, I love this woman, her whole family. Everyone who donated to the bins, to the Goodwill. I'm probably looking this way and I need to be looking at right there too. Sorry. It's this whole video, I'm going to be like. <laughs> okay, let me just turn like that again. Okay, this is a J. Crew. It's got some dog hair on it. It's an extra, extra small, but it's like, um, what is this like? It's like a blazer cardigan. What's the fabric here? And these are recent. Oh, merino wool. See? That's expensive. So it's cotton, merino wool, and polyester. It's super soft. And this is from, yeah, spring of 18. So not that old. So this is the blue, obviously. And then right beside it was this J. Crew, and this is, says 365 on the tag. See that? 
It's an extra, extra small too, but it's this beautiful camel color. It's got, this one has a little pilling, but not, not that much. And this one, uno momento. Yeah, holiday 18, and it is cotton. And cotton and what? Same, cotton, poly, and merino wool. So beautiful. I love both of these. I love all the sweaters. Like I go, I love all the things I got. Some stuff is just, you know, bread and butter, loft, old navy, but then some of it's just good. And I'm so excited. I, <laughs> I was so excited. This was the best bench trip I've ever had in my whole life. Okay, this is 11C, which is anthropology. That's the tag. These are a size. <coughs> the dust. Oh, the dust. Oh. <laughs> okay. These are 11 C's. They're size four. It's an anthropology brand. They are just these fun, like palazzo jogger pants, but they're like, I don't know, like a rayon material. They have their navy with the gold embellishing and like silk trim so cute and they have pockets in the back very cute next is this ashley stewart skirt it's a plus size 1820 it's new with tag it's just a black skater style skirt it's kind of got a fun texture to it new with tags at the bins of course Okay, I'm at 20 minutes. Next. Next is this 100% linen skirt. It's a maxi skirt. It has this ruching pattern all down it. <clears throat> I've never heard of the brand. Um, it's Marks and Spencer. Made in Georgia. It's a UK 12. I don't know what that would be US wise. UK 12. Hmm. It's in duck egg blue. But yeah, it's 100% linen. So it's like that robin's egg blue. So cute. Not the right season, but it's okay. Next is this. Kay Unger, New York, dress, just a sheath dress. It's got a really pretty floral pattern. It's size eight. Hopefully you can see it, it's so cute. So I grabbed that. Those dogs, I'm so sorry. This is Ann Taylor, size six. It's just a black sheath dress. I don't think this has ever been worn. It's got one of my dog's hairs on it. So yeah, that's size six. I hit um, a bin of so many dresses all in a row, like dress, dress, I mean, just so many. And I don't, I'm not obsessed with selling dresses, but for this cheap, how could you not? This is a loft size 10 and they were all such good sizes. So I was like, yeah, it's okay. Um, loft size 10, another sheath dress. This one has like, um, like, it's like a embroidery lace type detail, not eyelet, but yeah. And then it zips down the back. Really cute. Size 10. Then this is Urban Outfitters size medium. It's just a maxi dress and it has a slit up here just on the one side in the front. So really, really cute. And the back is this cute floral. Then 
I don't know this brand, but I looked this up last night when I was putting everything on hangers because this felt so lovely. It's just cotton. This is Moon River. Can you see? Moon River, size medium. I just felt like it's such a night, nice, it's such a good quality dress. So it's a maxi dress. It's like creamy white, like a creamish white color and has all these like arrows on it. And then in the back, it crisscrosses up here and it has the little keyhole down at the back and then it ties to flatter your figure and it's fully lined. So that was another key detail <laughs> that it was expensive. So yeah, it has this lining all in it. I looked up the brand and I kept pulling up anthropology from other people's listings. So it's cotton and rayon, but I don't know. I'm not sure exactly, but it's beautiful. It's flawless. And it was with all that other ladies, nice stuff. So I'm assuming it's good. Okay. Next is another loft dress, size medium. This one is really fun. So it's just like a gray Jersey type fabric up here. And then it has this fun skirt pleated, very flowy. It's like a midi length. Yeah, really cute. Look at this little number here. This don't make you want to be a flapper. I don't know what does. Um, so this is new with tags. Never heard of the brand. Vision for innovation. No idea. Has a tag on it. It's a size. Oh, performance dress, dance dress. I think this might have came from China. Like it's nothing good. I don't know. I don't see a size, but it's this black sequin dress with all the fringe. It's very flapper-esque. Maybe it'd make a great Halloween costume. Are we having Halloween? I don't know. My back is already dead and we're not even through one rag. Ugh. Um, This is Ann Taylor again. It's a solid black label Ann Taylor. No, it's not like loft or factory. This is a size 14. This is a sheath dress and it's got all this texture all over it. And then it has a hidden zipper in the back. Really nice, well-constructed career dress. Is a bar three dress. It's really fun. Gold, metallic, it's ribbed. It's very flowy. has a little keyhole in the back. It's a size large. It's fun. I love it so much. Then this is another loft. This one is so cute. So it's got this crochet overlay here and it has this elegant flowy chiffon bottom and it's a size 12. So yeah, um, I wouldn't pay the dress cost at my Goodwill like $6.99 or $5.99 for loft or bar three or any of these, but I will pay 77 cents and they're in great condition. So yeah. Okay. So I think since my back is broke, I'll just show you guys some of this stuff and then cut it off. Yeah. Maybe one pile. Oh my gosh. It's all starting to fall. I better do that first. Okay. So I got a shower curtain, nothing too fancy, but I did get it part of the weight. Um, yeah, just gray and white striped it's threshold. So that's target. It's in great condition and it matches my farmhouse. <laughs> then I got this Vera Bradley laptop case. Going to give that to my friend Heather. Oh, okay. I'll show you this. And then maybe just a couple more things. Or should I keep going? I wish you guys were right here talking to me. So I know to keep going. So one of the ladies who was invading my personal space was like throwing things. She literally like seen this and like threw it like, oh, that's junk. And I was like, what is this? Well, so it's so vintage. I don't even know. I don't know if it's fifties, sixties. I have no idea, but it's so old. Like look at the sack that it was in. I don't know, but whoever's it was, they were, had a lot of money. Okay, so all my vintage knowers of things, they're a size six and a half. Tronsmo 
Kongsvinger. <laughs> huh? Okay, <laughs> I, I don't know. But I do know that these are 100% genuine seal skin. I know, it's a touchy subject. Yikes. When I told my daughter they were seal skin, she started crying. I know. So, it's already happened, but look. Okay, so this one's got to be like a calf hair, somebody's hair, horse hair. I don't know whose hair this is on here. But these are genuine seal leather. I, I don't know. I think that's what I read in one of these things. So, yeah, they're gloves. Size six and a half. And then it came with this, then there's also the clutch. Um, and then when I opened it up, so it's all fine and well, but there's corrosion right here. So it transferred onto the hair here. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out or not, but I'm talking like this thing is so old. Like this was the paper that was inside. And then it has this. Yeah. So. J.J. J. Bergen. Johan Ness. Johan, Johan Nessen Portegu Bergen. I don't know. Made in Norway. Genuine seal skin. That's what the tag says. Ugh, it smells old. It does have that odor to it. It's so like, like the tissue paper's in it. It's like brand new inside, but this was stored, you know, somewhere old for a long time. I have to do so much research on this. But Jessica was there. Look at this mirror. Like, even it is old. It's very old looking. But it was wrapped in this paper. Jessica was looking and she seen like something that was like 300, 500. I don't know. I have no idea. But I know it's something good. And I also know it really needs to air out. Only at the bins. Yeah. Bless that little seal's heart. But yeah. Seals. I mean, this has to be so old. They don't use seals for leather. I mean, that was a, a very ancient practice. Right? Seals? So yeah, okay, let me just show you a couple more things. Oh my gosh, 31 minutes. This this is gonna be three parts. All right, then I picked up, on a lighter note, I picked up the Illinois <laughs> reversible hat. That's just a college. It weighed, you know, nothing. Okay, then I got this Patagucci. Patagonia, Capilene, base layer size small. I think this might be a kid's. So oh, that, that's not a woman's small. I have to look up the style number, but that is so soft and squinchy. Okay. This is Suburban Riot. It's an extra large uh, Nordstrom new attack. It's for my kid. I don't know why it's in this pile considering she already took all her other stuff upstairs. So that's not included in this either. Then Jessica gave me this because she got something else baby with Johnny Cash. Little Johnny Cash t-shirt. It's a size 5T. I guess that's not that little, is it? <laughs> that's a toddler size. Okay, this is Hannah Anderson. This is so cute. Size 90. Just this little, look at that little rainbow heart dress. Sweater, it's a sweater dress. So adorable. Uh-oh, I dropped the socks. This is Polo, Ralph Lauren. It's like a little kid. I think it's a little kid. I'm sure it is. Bucket hat. It's a large, extra large. So yeah, kids, I'm sure. How cute is that with the tigers? Really cute. And that goes with that. Got this shirt. It says the fur mama. That's for me. I also got this fun little 
Look how fun this, these sleeves are. Got this shirt at the bend, so I hurried to wash that with the quickness so I could wear it for today. So yeah, I got this fur mama tee for myself. I got this really old blanket, hand knit, but I loved it. I mean, the mustard and the cream, it's totally my vibe, truly is. So it's kind of destroyed. I didn't pay much attention to it at the bends actually. So there's, some of it's destroyed, but yeah, it's just a handmade little throw. Thought that'd be cute in a chair or in a basket, especially for fall. I'm looking around like, oh my gosh. <laughs> this was the my favorite thing. It's going to sound so silly to you, but I'm obsessed with the Golden Girls. It's like, I'm obsessed, so. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> it says, stay golden. Oh, I'm so excited. My daughter tried grabbing it from me when I got home, and I was like, nay, nay. <laughs> nope. That is mine. So that's for me. Love that. Oh my gosh, there's so much left. I haven't ate anything all day. I think I should eat and then come back when I have more energy. Okay. So that's part one. Okay, guys. So I'm going to stop there at 35 minutes. That's part one. We have all of this and all of this still to go. Thank you guys so much for watching part one. Be sure to stay tuned to part two and three probably to see what else I got on this one bin strip. It's exciting. So much good stuff left. I, it's all in here. Just wait. Just wait. Yeah. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoy haul videos because basically that's what I do here. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.